Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at fractions, decimals and percentages. Here is a fraction, one half, and you should know that's the same as 0 0.5. And you probably know that's also the same as 50%. So half, 0 0.5 and 50% 50% are all the same thing. There are three separate ways of representing the same value. Similarly, we've got a quarter here, and that's the same as 0 0.25 or 25%. They are all the same thing. So we can convert from fractions to decimals to percentages, and that's what today's video is about. So we're going to convert from fractions to decimals first. And there's two methods to do this, and here's the first method. We're going to change the denominator to be 10, 100, or 1,000. You can do this for quite a lot of numbers. For example, 5, when it's 2 fifths, we can change the denominator to be 10 by times it by 2, times it by 2, and we get 4 tenths. And that's the same as 0 0.4, because it's 4 tenths, 4 in the tenths column. So 2 fifths is the same as 0 0.4, and we've converted that fraction into a decimal. Now 3 twentieths, here we want to make the denominator 100, because we can do five, 20 times 5 is 100 times by 5, times by 5, we get 15 out of 100. This is the same as 10 hundredths plus 5 hundredths. 10 plus 5 is 15. But 10 hundredths, we can simplify to be 1 tenth. So this is 1 tenth and 5 hundredths, 0 0.15. Or, we can make it simpler, we can just think of it as a uh, fraction like this, 0 0.15, and it's 15 out of 100. The digits on the top of the fraction are the same as the digits in the decimal. So we've converted 3 twentieths into a decimal 0 0.15. Finally, 201 out of 250 will times by 4 times by 4 because that's the way to get 10 hundreds or 1,000 on the denominator. And we get 804 out of 1,000, which is the same as 0 0.84, and we've done. Now note this only works for when we've got easy denominators. Denominators like 5, 20 or 250, they multiply really easily to make 10, 100 or 1000. If you don't have a nice denominator, you have to use a second method. And that is the method we're going to look at now. Method 2, we're going to use long division. And we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So 2 thirds... That is the same as 2 divided by 3, which is 2.000. We're going to put some zeros on the end as a decimal, divide by 3. And you note, on the right-hand side, I've wrote my 3 times table to help me think about this. How many 3s in 2? There are 0. Remainder of 2. How many 3s in 20? There are 6. Remainder 2. How many 3s in 20? There are 6, remainder 2. How many 3's in 20? There is 6, remainder 2. And the decimal continues like that forever. 0 0.66666, on and on and on. Next we're going to do 4 9's, which is 4 divided by 9. And I've wrote my 9 times table on the side to help me. How many 9's in 4? There are 0. 4 is smaller than 9, 9 does not fit in 4. We carry the 4. How many 9's in 40? Well, 4 times 9 is 36, so that goes into 40, and then from 36 to 40, 37, 38, 39, 40, that's a remainder of 4. How many 9's in 40? 4, remainder 4, etc. And it continues like that. So 4 9's is the same as 0 0.444, etc. Finally, let's do 1 11th, which is 1 divided by 11. And we write it like this, as on division, and we write our 11 times table to help us. How many 11's in 1? 0. 11 doesn't go into 1. We carry the 1. How many 11's in 10? 0. 11 doesn't go into 10. Now, we carry the 10, we've got how many 11's go into 100? Well, that's 9 to make 99. And then there's 1 left over. How many 11's in 10? 0. We read the 10. 
Uh, how many 11s in 100? There are nine. And the pattern continues, 0 0.0909. And it continues like that forever, 0 0.090909. Now, these are what we call recurring decimals. They continue in the same pattern forever. And we can write it in a simpler way. 0 0.66 is 0 0.6 recurring, and we put a dot above the uh, 6 to show it's recurring. 0 0.909 recurs, we put a dot above the 0 and a dot above the 9 to show that they recur. Moving on. Now it's time to convert from decimals to percentages, and this is really easy. To go from 0 0.2, we're going to write it at 0 0.20, and we're going to move the decimal two places. This is just times in by 100. So 0 0.2 times 100 is 20%. And I'm doing that by moving decimal two places. 0 0.96, we move decimal two places, 96%. 0 0.23 is 23%. 0 0.315, move the decimal two places, it's 31.5. 0 0.6 recurring is 0 0.6666, which move decimal two places, is 66.66% recurring. And that's how we convert from decimals to percentages. Super easy. It's the same digits, just the decimal has moved two places. We've multiplied or divided by 100 to go backwards or forwards. Now we're going to convert from between percentages to decimals and then finally to fractions. 30% is the same as uh, divided by 100, we get 0 0.3. So 30% is 0 0.3. 95% moves decimal two places, 0 0.95. 37.5 moves decimal two places, 0 0.375. We've divided by 100. Notice we are just moving the decimal the opposite direction now because we're, con we're converting the other way. 0 0.3 is the same as 3 out of 10. That's just your place value. 0 0.95 is the same as 95 out of 100, which we can simplify. Divide by 5, divide by 5. Get 19 out of 20. You must always simplify your answer, otherwise you will lose marks in exams. 375 out of 1,000. We divide by 5, divide by 5. And we can do that using long division. And we get 75 like that, 75. And we get 75 out of 200, divide by 25 again. Um, 75 divided by 25 is 3, 200 divided by 25 is 8. So we've simplified that fraction. It took us quite a while, but we managed to do it. So 375 out of 1,000 is 3 eighths, and 37.5% is the same as 3 eighths. We have converted from percentages to decimals to fractions. Now I've shown you everything. I've shown you how to convert from fractions, decimals and percentages and convert uh, between all of them. It's now time for you to pause the video and try this yourself. There are some practice questions on the screen for you to try. Try to complete the table um, to show me what all uh, the equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages are. For example, the top row will be a half, a 0 0.5, and 50%. Then, on the right-hand side, we need to compare these fractions, decimals, and percentages. I would recommend you convert them all into decimals so you can convert, compare the size really easily. So pause the video now and have a go at this. When you're ready, you can press play and I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel. We're covering GCSE, A Level, and IB Maths with quick and simple explanations, and new videos will be coming soon. You can check out advancedmaths.com for more simple revision videos and help with your maths. Thank you for watching and good luck in your exams.